the bomb's power and <laughs> Nick, even with the seventh explosive projectile to be Hi. Welcome back to Rocket Tube for part two of my discussion on the ATEC reorganization at White Sands Missile Range. I'm Tim Coffin, Commanding General of White Sands Missile Range, and last month I published an operations order to direct and coordinate our reorganization activities. In many cases, those changes may not affect you individually. In some cases, the support provided from an office in your directorate may now come from a different or a combined source in a different location here on the installation. My intent is to ensure that the level of support will not diminish. In fact, if we do this right, the support provided to our workforce will increase. In military terms, I would call this providing precision fires. We're pooling resources of multiple elements to deliver greater combined effects which provide the needed support on time and on target. The focused attention of a professionally trained team will improve both performance and speed in comparison with personnel who do these duties part-time or for just their division or directorate. Some employees will find new opportunities for growth and development. There will be vacancy announcements, realignments, and temporary detailed assignments offered within the next few months. I urge you to take an active role in your environment, whether it's in the testing roles in which you serve or for a staff function you aspire to perform. These changes are necessary to create efficiencies and improve our effectiveness. We will work to minimize disruption to mission execution during this transition. I know we're moving in the right direction for our organization as a whole, and the commitment and support of both the White Sands Test Center and the Garrison Command Team, we will achieve our objectives. Your support is necessary as we set the pace for the rest of this year and for the years ahead. Our higher headquarters, Army Test and Evaluation Command, or ATEC, has a similar G staff alignment with some slight variations. Oh, by the way, a G staff is what we call a general staff. Staffs below that level are called S staffs, and when the staff serves above that level at the joint level with multiple services, it's called a J staff. Our structure, when complete, will mirror the ATEC structure, which then aligns our functional experts with those in the higher headquarters. This alignment will reap benefits as we collaborate with ATEC and Army staffs to improve processes that support our mission and meet White Sands Missile Range's requirements. Our design has combined the G1 for personnel, G7 training, and G8 resource management functions into a single staff element. We believe that these are synergistic and interdependent roles that provide benefits when they're tightly coupled together. This union best serves our immediate needs of our internal and external customers and does so with fewer resources than previously required. The G178 is responsible for financial management, personnel, and professional development and growth, force management, which is our personnel authorization documents, and contract oversight. The Director of Intelligence, or G2, satisfies a unique role at White Sands Missile Range and has dual responsibilities and authorities. The G2 leadership directs both the command-wide organizational security requirements as well as the operations of the Site Defense Force under the WISTIC. Our G3 is the Director of Operations and has a major role in our day-to-day -day operations. As the Director of Current Operations, this team, in coordination with our Chief of Staff, the Secretary of the General Staff, manage the integration, synchronization, and collaboration required across WISMER needed for our daily activities. They develop and issue orders to synchronize our actions. They actively receive and transmit valuable information to ensure that we meet the requirements, implement the policies, establish the ordered processes or standard operations plans, synchronize information, plans, programs, and operations across the tri-services, garrison, and our tenant partners. The Logistics Readiness Center is our G4 and our logistics backbone. The G4 collaborates with the Logistics Readiness Center, or LRC, to ensure our mission readiness. The Oregon National Guard has recently joined our team at the LRC to make progress on reducing our installation's maintenance and sustainment backlog. The G4 collaborates with service organizations to accomplish logistics planning, supply procurement, property accountability, and transportation on behalf of our missions.
This team also synchronizes installation management responsibilities with our Garrison Command. As the Senior Installation Commander, I also have a responsibility to support WISMER's objectives that intersect with those of federal, state, and local governments. The G5 engages in such areas as strategic and long-range and future plans, capability and infrastructure studies, business development, and customer relations. The G5 also acts as our lead on topics such as land use, mission encroachment, environmental, airspace, Indian affairs, and community outreach. My G6 oversees the command's communication systems. In this reorganization, I've separated the responsibilities of the administrative networks, the help desk, knowledge management, and comsec management, from that of the test network and range communications. Finally, our staff, formerly known as the Systems Engineering Directorate, is being renamed to the G9. In this role and in line with the ATEC G9, this team has responsibility for investment programs, system and infrastructure development, and test technology project management. My personal staff consists of the Command Sergeant Major, the Executive Director, an aide-de-camp, our Public Affairs Officer, the Installation Safety Office, and the Staff Judge Advocate. My special staff consists of the Secretary of the General Staff, which you know as the SGS, and our Protocol Office under the supervision and oversight of the Chief of Staff. My senior staff and I have spent more than six months developing this reorganization, and I believe that this change in our command structure will allow us to not only mitigate some of the fiscal and personnel constraints which we face and are enduring, we will continue to face these challenges through fiscal year 2021, but will also enhance our operations for many years in the future. Our goal is a seamless transition throughout in which our staff directorates and offices continue to deliver top-notch service and most importantly execute the support functions that I described. And while that's the goal, I'm also sure that there will be some hiccups along the way. When those occur, I ask for your, both your patience and your help to identify and fix those problem areas. As we move forward on our timeline, gaining your feedback as service members, employees, and partners is valuable to help us build a better team and organization. We've created an anonymous Dropbox where you can provide comments. I invite you to offer recommendations and constructive suggestions. Tell us what's working well, how we can build on what we're working toward, and what we could do better and how we can improve processes, policies, or procedures. Communication can be a challenge in an organization as diverse and wide-ranging as White Sands Missile Range, but just a few minutes can make a big difference, especially as we listen to you during this process. I will rely on our subject matter experts to research and vet feedback to ensure compliance with rules, regulations, and policies, and when suitable, will provide the appropriate response to your submissions through posts to the website, town halls, the Missile Ranger, or even these videos. Thank you for viewing, and I hope that you'll tune in for future videos on RocketTube.